Lining up for hours to buy a cup of tea may seem ridiculous, or even insane. But this is what happened in China. Behind the craze are two Shenzhen-based startups, Haiti and Nayuki. As Luckin ran into troubles due to their fraud scandal, Haiti and Nayuki are likely to step up to become new rivals to Starbucks. When it first debuted on NASDAQ, Luckin Coffee was widely referred to as the Starbucks of China. However, if you take a deeper look, you'll find that the business models of the two brands are quite different. Sure, they both sell coffee, but what Luckin offered was quick and cheap coffee, while Starbucks focused on a more complete coffee shop experience. When it comes to the in-store experience, the real rivals to Starbucks in China are more likely to be Hey Tea and Nayuki, two tea chains that emerged in the recent new tea trend. China has a long history of tea drinking culture, which deeply shaped its current beverage market. In 2019, the size of China's tea market reached 400 billion RMB, twice the size of its coffee market. One of the market segments that drew the attention of investors was bubble tea, a beverage that originated in Taiwan and went global. Hey Tea and Nayuki have refined the concept by introducing fresh ingredients to traditional bubble tea and creating the so-called new tea. The flagship products of Haiti and Nayuki are cheese tea, which is topped with cream cheese, and fruit tea, which is tea mixed with fresh fruits. These drinks have become a sensation in recent years, with thousands of people lining up for hours to get a cup. So why are new tea brands more likely to become the rivals to Starbucks in China? First, they have adopted a similar price strategy. A cup of fruit tea costs over 30 RMB at Haiti, which is the same as a latte at Starbucks. This high price has made middle-class consumers the target customer for Haiti and Nayuki, which overlaps with the demographics of Starbucks consumers in China. To attract these consumers, Haiti and Nayuki built their stores primarily in downtown areas and shopping malls. And drawing inspiration from Starbucks, they've made the tea house a space for relaxation and socialization. Most of the locations are well decorated with cozy lounges, bright lighting, and modern design. And following Starbucks' lead. Haiti and Nayuki have opened several flagship stores to offer more diverse services and products, such as dessert, beer, and cocktails. These new tea brands also want to go beyond simply being tea chains. They want to cultivate a way of life. Haiti and Nayuki both sell merchandise, featuring things like mugs, bags, and phone cases. Haiti even collaborated with Rihanna's cosmetic brand Fenty Beauty to release crossovers. These strategies helped Haiti and Nayuki build a healthy and hip image, appealing to younger generations. For years, tea has been considered the drink for seniors in China. Nowadays, over half of new tea consumers in China were born after the 1990s. The new tea craze has also captured the attention of investors. Haiti has raised almost 80 million dollars in three funding rounds with IDG Capital and Longzhou Capital, a subsidiary of Meituan Dianping. In June, Nayuki was also reportedly closing a new round with 100 million dollars from investors led by Shenzhen Capital Group. The company is now in preparations for an IPO in Hong Kong. Learning a lot from Starbucks's model, Haiti and Nayuki have developed rapidly, and they went further than Starbucks when it came to digitalization. In China, customers are able to place their orders via Haiti or Nayuki's WeChat mini programs. According to Haiti, the number of its mini program users reached 26 million by May of 2020, and over 80% of them have used it more than once. However, to catch up with Starbucks in China, Haiti and Nayuki still have a long way to go. By January 2020, Haiti owns over 400 locations, with three locations in Singapore, while Nayuki owns 350 locations in China. On the other hand, the U.S. coffee giant already had 4,400 locations by Q1 of 2020. With plans to open 500 new locations this fiscal year. Meanwhile, Haiti and Nayuki also face pressure from domestic competitors like Shanghai-based startup Le Le Cha, Taiwan-based tea chain Coco, and A Little Tea. For all new tea brands, the challenge lies in how to stand out from the competition and conquer the market. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you're interested in learning more about China's tech scene, visit Creation.com using the link in the description below.